What's up YouTube, it's Mr. Stevie J893 and I'm back with another video. And in this video I'm gonna be doing a review of the LG model LHB335 Blu-ray Network Disc Player. Now to call it a just a Blu-ray player is kind of uh underwhelming because it does a whole lot more than that. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you through talk to you about some of the uh, things that it can do just give you a quick review on it alright let's get into it alright this is it and I've had this now for about eight months uh, so I had enough time to mess around with it play with it uh, see what can it can actually do and everything and it's a great uh, piece of equipment and like I said to just call it a blu-ray player is sort of an understatement because it does a whole lot more than that um, so let's get into some of the features of this device. <clears throat> like I said, it is the model LHB335, and it's been out uh, for some time now. I don't know exactly when it came out, but like I said, I picked it up around April of this year, so I've had it for about eight months or so. And one of the things that I like about it, uh, and this is kind of standard with every uh, electronic device, but it's the remote. As you see, it's... Um, sort of a universal type remote in that it can control both the device and my TV. I have an LG uh, TV as well and the beautiful thing about it is as you can see like down here I can control the TV volume I don't know if this can actually come out on the screen or not but I can turn it completely off okay turn it up and at the same time but I can also control the volume with the Blu-ray player now one of the things that I really like about this is the fact that in addition to being a Blu-ray player you can also play your own uh, music through it because it has an iPod dock. Now you know with the new uh, iPods with the 9 pin connectors you probably have to get an adapter to fit on here but once you do you can play all of your own music through here as well. Now one of the other things that this can do is say for instance if you have Netflix you can now stream Netflix over this. Uh, this does have a connection for uh, hooking it up to the internet in the back of it. And so you can stream Netflix movies on here and watch them straight on your TV, which I think is an awesome feature. And not just Netflix, but uh, Hulu as well. There's a couple of others. But you can actually download uh, movies uh, from Netflix and watch them. And here's the uh, DVD tray here. And now, I'm not going to go through and put a DVD and a Blu-ray in here. I mean, everybody's seen the videos and they know, you know, the difference between the picture and both. So there's no need for me to really do that. But one of the things, if you notice here, something's going on with the screen. Uh, basically, what happens is anytime you put any type of media in, in here, say, for instance, a DVD player, it takes you to this screen on your TV. And it lets you choose uh, what type of media you're going to be using. So in this case we can choose uh, whether or not we want to watch a movie, look at photos, listen to music, uh, use netcast or if there's like a radio input and you can go into setup. Now movie covers two different things. This first one here. It covers a couple of different things. It, all, it covers DVDs, it covers Blu-rays and yes if you have an external hard drive with movies on it it covers that as well. You can actually hook up an external hard drive and I'll get to that in just a second. Uh, also you can look at uh, pictures. If you've got pictures stored on a flash drive or a hard drive you can hook it up to there. Uh, select this menu and you can watch your pictures. You can look at them uh, individually or you can watch them in like a slideshow format which is really cool. Same thing with music. If you've got music stored on here you can go to that folder and uh, whatever folder it is and you can listen to your music. Uh, same thing with netcast. Um, when you go under there, let's go under there for just a second. You see, that's content from online networks. Now, I'm not hooked up to anything right now, but it'll show you um, the different places where you can get uh, movies from. I already talked to you about Netflix, Voodoo, Cinema Now. You can watch Major League Baseball Television, DVX TV. Uh, YouTube videos, Pandora, you can stream uh, Pandora Radio as well as Napster. If you've got Picasso web al albums you can do that and you can also look at AccuWeather. Now if that's something that you're into that's something you can definitely do. 
All right, so what we're gonna do now is come out of here and go back to the menu. All right, so input. Input, like I said, if you wanna switch between uh, a radio and external input devices, that's what input is for. And then setup is however you wanna set this up as the user so you can make that really uh, be a reflection of how you want things to be. All right, now coming back to the whole uh, movie thing, like I told you, this can play both Blu-ray and DVD uh, discs, but it can also play external hard drives, and I happen to have one right here. Now this is my, uh, this is a 750 gig hard drive, and so what I'm going to do is if you notice here on the front, you've actually got a connector right here for USB devices. So all you have to do is take this, hook it up here, and you'll notice on the front of it, it's accessing the hard drive. You see the light flashing? So we'll just give it a couple seconds. Okay, so now it's loaded everything. If you come back up to the screen, you see that it has a choice. We can look at movies. First of all, you see up top it says USB, so that lets us know that it's accessing the information off the external hard drive. And we have a choice. We can either look at movies, we can look at pictures, or we can look at music. So say, for instance, if we want to look at movies, and I click movies, first of all, it brings up every folder that I have on the hard drive. Now, keep in mind, every single movie, or every single folder doesn't have movies in here. So since we went under the, men the movie menu, if you go into one of your folders and it doesn't have movies in here, you won't see anything. So say for example, uh, we went under the movies and we wanted to look under, okay, here's one. See, it says empty because I don't have any video stored under here. You have to go under a folder that has movies. So all you do is come back up and let's see. We find a, a folder that has movies and see here I've opened it and it's got a ton of uh, videos now say for instance if we actually wanted to watch something uh, I don't know let's see so we want to watch this click it now, this is an old video so it's kind of crackling a little bit but it's from the 80s if you're a WWF fan then you know what this is but uh, anyway, that's it. And so as you see, it actually plays uh, videos from your hard drive. And I think that was one of the most awesome features of this device. Okay, now once again, we went under the music folder. Say for instance, if we want to listen to something that has music, we have to go under a folder where music files are stored. And this time when we come under that same folder, all it lists our audio disc. Since I had video and audio in that folder, uh, it's showing the difference. So last time we were in this folder, it showed strictly videos. This time it's showing strictly audio files. And if there was any pictures, if we came out and went back into pictures, it would show that as well. And just to show that it does work, let's say... Uh, so now it's accessing the hard drive. You see the flashing light? Heard of witness protection and the program. volume is pretty good. But have you ever heard and the view just went crazy. of HPP? Alright, and that was a clip from the nephew time. So that was the LG LHB 335 Blu-ray player. If you guys like it, uh, let me know down in the comment section below. Give this video a thumbs up and hope to see you subscribe soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.